The Mossi Kingdom, sometimes referred to as the Mossi Empire, was a number of distinct powerful kingdoms in modern Burkina Faso that dominated the upstream region of the Volta for hundreds of years. The kingdom was founded when warriors from the Mamprusi area, in modern-day Ghana, moved to the area and married the locals. The centralization of the kingdom's political and military power began in the 13th century and led to conflict between the Mossi Kingdom and many other powerful states in the region. In 1896, France took over the kingdom and created Volta. Over France, which largely used the Mossi administrative structure for decades to govern the colony. One brief history. The state of Mossi was formed around AD 1500, when a group of horsemen rode north from what is now northern Ghana into the Volta River Valley and conquered some of the less powerful people, including the Dogon, Lila, Nuna, and Kurumba. These were integrated into a new society called the Mossi, with the invaders as leaders and the conquered as commoners. The Mossi emperor was Moro Naba, who lived in the ancient and contemporary capital of Ouagadougou. In the centuries between 1500 and 1900 the Mossi were a major political and military force on the bend of the Niger River and were effective against the movement of Muslim Fulani armies throughout the Sudanese region of West Africa. In 1897 the first French military explorers arrived in the area and staked French colonial claims. During the 60 years of French colonial rule, the Mossi population was exploited as a source of human labor for French plantations in Ivory Coast. In 1960 Burkina Faso gained its independence from France. The first elected president Ouazan Koulibaly was succeeded by Maurice Yamiogo, a Mossi. In 1967 a coup put in place a military government that had ruled with rare changes since. Two. Economy The Mossi are basically farmers, raising millet, sorghum, corn, sesame, peanuts and tilapia. The last three are commercial crops raised for export. A large number of Mossi live in downtown Ouagadougou, Wahigoya, Kaya, Yako, Kudogu. During the colonial period, France implemented a policy of deliberate backwardness intended to force Mossi workers to leave their homes after harvest and migrate by French-made trains to Ivory Coast where they worked on French-owned factories and plantations. From the founding of the Mossi states to the present day, the Burkina Faso and Mossi economies have benefited from their position on the main trade route between forest and desert and from the government's open trade policies surrounded by countries such as Ghana and Mali that restrict trade. 3. Political system The Mossi are unique in Burkina Faso because of their centralized and hierarchical political system. The Nakams were the ruling class and directed the descendants of the first colonizers from the south. At the top of the political hierarchy was the Moro Naba emperor whose court was in Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso. Nabis leader ruled over every territory of the Mossi state and paid homage to the emperor. Each chief headed a political hierarchy of local officials who were responsible for raising the army, collecting taxes, etc. Nyonyos is a descendant of the Overgaard people who lived in the region before the Mossi arrived. 4. Types of art Mossi made political art and spiritual art. Numbers were used by the ruling class to validate political power, and masks were used by the conquered to control the forces of nature. Every year at the annual celebration of royal ancestors, figures of deceased kings are displayed. On many occasions each year, especially during the long dry season from October to May, masks appear to honor the nature spirits who control the forces of the environment. Some of the mask styles reflect the diversity of the population prior to the 15th century invasion. The long, tall masks in the north were made by the descendants of the conquered Dogon people, while the red, white, and black animal masks in the southwest were made by the descendants of the conquered desert people. 
5. Religion. Descendants of the conquered Nyonyos farmers honor nature's spirits who give them supernatural powers to control weather, disease, crop failure, and general well-being. These are created spirits, who become important when the congregation faces certain sufferings and which diminish in influence when problems are solved. These spirits are often represented by masks and figures that make them visible and concrete. The spirits themselves provide, through diviners, the religious laws that govern the community and thus provide a system of sacred rules. The creator god Wenham is associated with the sun and with Nakam's political hierarchy. The spiritual power of the Nyonyos based on the spirit realm is in direct conflict with the secular power of the Nakam's based on the horse and related to the sun. Among the most important religious celebrations are the annual sacrifices in honor of the memory of royal ancestors, when each male household head reaffirms his dependence on the virtues of his head and ancestors for the health and well-being of his family. That's five brief history of the Mossy Kingdom hope it is useful thank you.